Welcome to Electra Online. With our next example, we're starting out with a polynomial of four terms. Typically, if we cannot factor a common factor, in this case, none of the four, none of the four terms have a single common factor, we might start out by grouping. And let's group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. If we do that, then notice on the first two terms, What's common here is a, so we can factor out an a. We end up with a times x squared minus y squared. And on the second group of two, we can factor out a b. So that would be plus b times x squared minus y squared. And notice we now have two terms, and on those two terms we have a common factor again, x squared minus y squared, which can be factored out. So this can be written as x squared minus y squared, and what we have remaining is an a plus b. But then we're not done yet, because notice that x squared minus y squared is the difference of squares, which can be factored. This can be factored as x plus y times x minus y, and then of course we still have the a plus b, and that's the final factored form of our original problem. Now you might decide, well, what if I had grouped them differently? What if I had grouped the first and the third term and the second and the fourth term? Would that work and will we get the same answer? Well, let's give it a try and see what would happen. So what if we have a x squared plus b x squared minus a y squared minus b y squared? And let's see what happens when we now group the first two together and the last two together. Notice that's now a different grouping that we had before. Notice in the first term we can factor out an x squared, so we end up with x squared times a plus b, and here we can factor out a minus y squared, and we're left with an a plus b. You might ask, well, why did I factor out a minus y squared, not a plus y squared? Well, I wanted these two to look exactly the same, and I could have done that by factoring out a minus y squared instead of a plus y squared. Okay, now notice that we have two terms. We have this term and this term, and they both contain the factor a plus b. I can factor that out, so this is equal to a plus b times what we have remaining is an x squared minus a y squared. And then I realize that this is the difference of squares, so I can factor it out. So this is equal to a plus b times x plus y times x minus y. And notice I have this very same result as I had over here in different order, but that doesn't matter. So you can see that it didn't matter which two that I grouped together, I end up with the exact same result. And that is how it's done.